Hey, baby, sit back, relax, let's play a little bit of Dead Cells. Got the broadsword here today. A sword of choice for women in the 1950s alongside the chick sword. I actually have no idea, like, who this sword is for. I love everything about it, I think it's great, but the moveset is terrible. I, like, you see this first hit here? That is actually, like, I don't know how you describe it. A rapier style hitbox so you can actually you know totally miss a totally miss like an exploding bat that's literally right in your well face cloud of smoke I don't know what you call it so I don't know I I mean I like the uh, big hits I like the huge damage I like everything about it it's just man that moveset is just awful I hate it I, it's one of the very few weapons, I would say, that's like, just... Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I, I'll give it a second here. It's one of the few weapons I'd say is just like... I straight up do not like. I do not like using. Otherwise, like, pretty much every other weapon in the game, I think, has some use in some way. It's just... Boy, the broadsword's just not great. It does have that whole, like, hit behind. And if the second hit was the one that you started out with, I think that it would actually be pretty good. Because that second hit, the sweep up, is surprisingly good at taking out flying enemies. But, like, everything else is terrible. And you need to, like, hit twice to be able to, well, three times, to be able to get the full combo off and to be able to get a stun on enemies. I don't know. I mean, I'm usually a big fan of... Good, I can actually afford this now. I'm usually a big fan of weapons that are just big, huge slabs of metal that you hit things with. Back when I was playing through, like, uh, the Dawn of Sorrow, Aria of Sorrow, Castlevania games, those were my weapons of choice, the uh, Claymore-style weaponry. However, this one, I don't know. It's just not the same thing. It doesn't have as good... Like, in Castlevania, basically, this hit would be, like, your first hit and would be, like, your... Uh, no, 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 I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go Ossuary this time. As much as I like the Ossuary, I've been doing that too much lately. Let's hit up the sewers. Sewers are cool. So yeah, as much as I like the... How about sewers and then Ossuary? Yeah, you know, I like that. Do that one. So as much as I like big ol' weapons that do big ol' hits, it's... This just isn't the best one. I mean, you can get a way better... You can get way better results out of using the Nutcracker, which has the built-in ability to stun stun lock enemies pretty easily and you can take them out quickly as well so i don't know i mean if i i wouldn't blame people if they like it like i said i love everything about the weapon it's just uh, not the best one not the best the other thing is that i think like the shape of it like the look of it is almost exactly the same as the dragon bone smasher in demon souls i put up a picture right now and see how it has that thing on the top there? That like a uh, sort of carved out of bone sort of deal, or metal in this case, which obviously as well is, well in turn is a dumb reference to Gut Sword in Berserk, which a lot of stuff in Dark Souls is. I If you talk to Scriver in, ooh, here we go. If you talk to Scriver in the, uh, what is it, the, Lava Mountains? I don't remember what it was called. Stone Fang Tunnels? Is that what it was called? Man, it's been a while since I played Demon Souls. He pretty much describes it exactly as God Sword is described, uh, the Dragon Slayer. You know, just a big slab of metal that has no edge to it and is just meant for breaking bones. And that's kind of, <laughs> that's almost the exact same feeling that you get when using this. So, I don't know. I mean, it's a it might be a fun little reference. This may be like an actual way that they made broadswords. I have no idea. The other thing it kind of looks like is the... What is it? The Obsidian Greatsword in Dark Souls? I don't know. Oh, okay, good. I have gotten killed by having those bats explode in my face. It's very irritating. And with a slow swing time, it's like you can't just auto-correct into doing a better... Until like, getting a better position anyway. I mean, one of the nice things about this weapon is that you can pretty easily, like, get a roll cancel out of it if you decide that you don't want to cut.
commit to doing the full swing there. So I'm... That's like the one good thing about it, and pretty much every weapon has that, so it's not really that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. Ah, well. That's eh, enough complaining about this weaponry. Let's get on with the run here. Uh, ch -ch -ch. I think I'm probably going to... I mean, you know, this was a weapon that you got from Nameless Tutorial Guy, so I suppose to honor his memory, that stupid, stupid Nameless Tutorial Guy that got killed in the prison cells. How do you even do that? How do you get killed? Even, like, doing cursed sword runs, I barely ever get killed in the prison cells. What sort of scrub is, was that guy? But anyway, in honor of his memory, I think I'll just be doing a normal uh, level one run this time. I feel like the last one I, the last proper run I did, the, what do we got? What do we, I guess I've gotten all the skills that I'm going to get out of here. But yeah, you know, to, to be sure, he was like a nameless nonsense character that had nothing to do with anything, but eh, why not? The last few runs that I've done have been taking... Well, I guess just the last run I did, if you don't count the Aura of Laceration. I've been taking the full-on... Yeah, here we go. I've been taking full-on advantage of uh, getting upgraded versions of the same weapon. So doing like a little level one level one run here, I think, is about due. I mean, you get pretty good damage. I'm well, actually at four. Eh, if I got a better... If I got a higher level, it would probably be better. I, again, I'm way too spoiled on getting excellent, excellent damage out of the Cursed Sword, so... Nah, quite the same thing. Oh, in this area, there's almost... Oh, man, this is like the first time that I've not gotten that door in a long time. I almost never take the shortcut through there. Okay, I seem to have at least enough damage to be able to do... Uh, instant stuns with this weapon instead of having to worry about... Getting off two, three hits before I can get a stun on the... Uh, not the Oshwars, the Shockers. Uh, I would like... Yeah. Okay. I'm actually at two hit points, so... Maybe my single hit point deal is preserved, at least for a little bit. Yeah, Shockers are still terrible, but... Oh, no, I guess it's not every time that I'm able to get that. Hmm. That's an issue. Yeah, I've kind of given up with the whole Curse Sword doing just plain Curse Sword, at least for right now, because man, am I terrible at fighting the Watcher without taking damage. I mean, I can beat the incomplete one pretty easily, but Watcher is... And it's not even like the Watcher fight entirely, it's just the bit where... Mm. Yeah, got it. It's not even the Watcher fight entirely, it's just the bit with the tentacles. I'm just terrible at not getting hit by those. I don't know, maybe I should just get some more... If there was a way to actually like practice things in this game, that would be pretty helpful. Hey, look at me, it's cute. If there was a way to practice things in this game, like being able to just queue up a boss, that would be nice, but... Eh, never... I'm never gonna expect that sort of thing to be in the game, it's not really the sort of thing that you would put in this sort of game anyway. I mean, you think other... Even though it is surprisingly difficult to get to this guy... Like, for most people, I can't imagine that it's like... Anybody but someone like me is gonna want to practice him. <laughs> or like other speedrunner sorts. You know, the people that are more respectable than I am. <laughs> All I do... Yes! I am... Okay, taking curses with this weapon is risky because fighting dudes is risky with this weapon. Like, straight up. Like, let's take a look. Nope, nope, not even trying. Okay, I'm just gonna try to find, yeah, here we go. All right, there's seven. There's four. <laughs> yep, this is how you do it. One. And that's the risk-free way to take care of a curse with a weapon that you're unsure of. Or at the very least, you don't really think you can consistently kill guys with, is more what I mean. Like, for example, I would have died there. 
Here, give me that. I'm running real low on money in this run. Ugh. And that's how I would have died if I tried to do just about anything else with this weapon. Eh, maybe I'll turn around on this weapon after getting a few more strength ups. But I think that as an early game weapon, this is pretty bad. And I've never really used it in anything that you can consider late game, so... I don't know. Nope. Alright, I'm not going to the Sepulchre this time, or Sepulchre, so where's the next area? Quickest way to get through this area is just to look at the ends of these hallways, and look, there it is. What am I hitting at right now? Six, eleven hundred? That's not too bad for damage. It's not the best, but... Yeah, let's see how this goes. This dude's pretty slow. Incomplete One has never been a particularly fast character. You can, I would say, pretty easily... Like, his punch attack has pretty forgiving timing. You can block pretty much every single time he does an attack, with the exception of the damage field, I would say, really consistently. Not bad. Okay. Let's do a perfect fight here. Not bad. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm liking this fight so far. This is how Nameless Tutorial Guy would have wanted it. I guess? I don't know, did he even know about these bosses? Do you even know anything about anything? With the exception of the fact that dudes don't die when they are killed. I knew that. Nope. Sweep, jump, and then get close to punches. Yeah. Not quite perfect. Oh well. Alright, one full combo should be able to take out this guy. I already screwed up the don't get hit. I don't really care too much about getting hit now. Should hopefully have news on the new update coming soon here. I'm kind of putting off doing a lot of these uh, single single weapon runs until I get more news on the ability to relock weapons because that will make these runs way easier. It'll also make doing like speed runs and the like way easier. Yeah, if you wanted to get into doing like challenge runs now, and I know you don't. <laughs> I'm the only one that wants to do that. And that's because I don't want to move on to any other, doing any other game just yet. Now is not really the time to do it. Just wait. I'm thinking probably first week of the next month, first week of September here. We'll be hearing more about that and hopefully get something come out. I don't know. I suppose we'll see. I mean, I'm just guessing because they said that they want to do monthly updates, so... Either way, regardless, whenever something new comes out, I'll show it. Show it off in some fashion. I mean, even if I just... even if I fall behind on doing challenge runs, I will always be here to show off whatever new content that I got for this game. I've kind of committed to myself... <laughs> I've kind of committed myself to that, if nothing else. All right. In this area, with this amount of enemies here, I'm not even going to stop to fight anything, especially not like pirate captains. They got big, huge weapons. How come they can swing them so much faster than I can? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. I can rally most of it up with doing this. Probably didn't need to do that. You know, much like a... Uh... Okay. Okay, okay. That's fine. Much like Bloodborne, where they got this mechanic from, uh, bigger weapons do more rally damage. This is a lot like the... Oh, what the hell is that weapon called? The Kirkhammer in that respect. Although I suppose you could compare it a lot more to the... What is it? Ludwig's Holy Sword? Whatever the one that's not from the DLC is. Boy, Bloodborne's a great game. <laughs> Definitely waiting on whatever FromSoft's going to be doing next. I hope it's something new. And not just, you know, Bloodborne 2 or... 
Oh, this combo! <laughs> All right, I'll meet you back here. Yeah, that song is technically from Time Splitters 2, but I always associate it with I Want to Kill the Guy. <laughs> ah, ah, what a good game that I'm never going to play. I did beat the original I Want to Be the Guy, and got all like the parts and everything, and got a decent amount into I Want to Be the Boshi. Yeah, that ain't happening again, though. Yep. Alright. And yeah, you wonder what like the ability to do that whole... What the ability behind having the invincibility on... Come on. How did I not hit him on the- how did I not hit that bat on the second swing? I nearly got killed there. Yeah, the invincibility on the... Come on, just get over here. Oh, come on. Done. On having, like, shields, that's the exact sort of situation that you want it for. Having those bats just chain bomb you into oblivion. <sighs> It is really easy to go with those things into attacking you. For example, watch. However, not when you're trying to dodge multiple of them and the... Ooh, could get a second one here. But not when you have two of them and you're looking out for meat grinder, cleavers, and you're looking out for all the other junk that is around here. Ugh. You know, as much as I would like to get an upgrade to the broadsword, and it's not like there's any sort of power stance in this game. But man, what if there was? Could go full Ring Knight Great Swords. I would love that. Just take out two of these things, have a really crazy move set. Come on, get on, Emotion Twin. That'd be cool. Make these weapons just totally viable by just giving a crazy new move set to having multiple of them at once. I would like to see them put in more, like, heavy weapons in the game. I think you got, what, two right now with the broadsword and the nutcracker? And that's nice, but come on. Come on. I'm just saying. I am not fighting that pirate captain. Not with this weapon. This is not a weapon that you can fight elites with pretty easily. Um... Goad. And good. Thankfully, those explosions are smaller than they actually look, but... Yeah, not that you know. Not that it feels like that. <laughs> However, when you're doing things like Curse Sword runs, you get a good good uh, judgment of just how big the explosion radius of everything is. I am going to get the... I'm going to try to max out as many stat-ups as I possibly can get here before I go down to the next floor up to the next biome, sideways to the next area. Ah, uh, ah, jeez, how'd that guy not get stunned? Whatever, whatever. Give me some more money. That would actually be a really nice thing. Has a good synergy with this, with the ability to get, it's trying to hit the vine there. With the ability to get extra hits in by you know what? Nah, screw all you guys. Backswing doing a little bit of work for me. Ability to get extra hits in when you're invincible. And there we go. That's what I'm looking for. I'll take a brief look around, see if there's any other shenanigans that I can hit up. Uh, whatever this is, I'm not taking it. I'm still, hol I'm still holding on to the memory of nameless NPC guy. Let's call him Oscar. Oh, I can go get the... Wow. Okay. Yeah, I can go get uh, Clock Tower. It does nothing, but surprisingly enough, I can still do this. <laughs> I'm pretty far ahead. <laughs> All right, what do we got? I knocked down a whole host of vines, so it shouldn't be... We would even go up there. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get back to the... This was it, right? The exit? No, 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 this was that treasure chest. that I, I don't even remember what was in there. 
One had a syringe. You know, that's something that you learn pretty quickly when doing the old uh, LP game here, is that pretty much you sacrifice the ability to remember things for the ability to play video games and talk at the same time. It's a skill, it's a stupid skill, but it's a skill nonetheless. <laughs> I just... Oh god. I'm okay. Oh, I'm actually doing okay damage. 1500? Eh, not bad. Oh. I don't think I ever actually went in here. Yeah, yeah. What do you get? Oh, this is the exit. Never mind. <laughs> to the graveyard. I don't have high hopes for this run, but if I can get up to like 10 strength, that would be probably more than enough. Well, I don't know, because it's going to be hard to hit tentacles. I guess we'll have to see the Watcher fight when I get to there, because I don't really know what it's like fighting that guy with this weapon. I'm going to take a guess right now and say hard. I mean, as we all know, this is a baby game made for babies. For babies, by babies. But I... For the most part, I generally choose weapons that are fast, so I don't know if I've even actually fought the Watcher with a broadsword before. <sighs> Whatever, I'm probably going to be doing this run over anyway. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, and since I haven't done it yet this run... Alright, check another one off. Yeah, sure, I don't have a... I don't have one yet. 10% is basically pointless, but... Eh. It's free. Uh, yeah, hmm. I'm gonna take care of that Inquisitor first. I don't like him hitting me. Well, I can kill these two guys. I honestly thought that he wasn't gonna be stunned. Ah, oh, oh, everything. Okay, okay. Uh, just gotta unclench my butt here and get back to dead selling. Back to whacking dudes with this gigantic table on a stick. Yeah, I'm not fighting catchers here. Well, I can try. Okay, I actually have pretty good damage right now. 2250, not bad. And upswing, doing work there. Yeah, starting to get into the, like, good damage. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Get over here, you stupid bat! <laughs> Whatever. Not enough to one-shot those dudes. Please, please, please. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> yeah, it's Goom Stomp. Oh, this is all terrible. I hate everything. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Oh, hey, there's a scroll of power there. I'll take it. Oh, and that bat gave up chasing me. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is not the worst it's ever been in one of these runs. Oh, come on. <laughs> it looked like he just exploded upon hitting my face. Great. Hey, you know, whatever works. Give me this, just give me this. Let me be on my merry way. What do we got? 32.17, not bad, not bad. I mean, I'm not doing, like, tens of thousands of damage. I'm going to do a full clear of this area. Why not? You know, whatever works. Oh, God. Rally that. Jeez. I mean, honestly, I probably roughly half of those exploding bats I kill... I don't like the positioning of that... Roughly half of those exploding bats I kill by kind of getting them in a position where they kill themselves rather than it actually being any fault of mine. Oh, this would be nice. I would really like that buff up on damage. Oh, by the way, motion twin, good idea for another uh, weapon. Just something that buffs you. Just like a buffing obelisk. Oh. <laughs> like a buffling, a buffing, a buffling, bling, obelisk sort of skill I think would be really good. You kind of had that sort of thing there with the heavy turret. Why not push it into its obvious uh, end game and just make something that is a buff. You know, something that gives you extra 
health, something that gives you extra, maybe like a, maybe not like just percentage-based damage, maybe something that gives you like an actual temporary skill up. Oh, there's two of them on me right now. Okay, that's fine. I'm not doing too bad for health right now. Compared to some of the other runs I've had, this is pretty all right. Oh. Okay. Oh. Just pause. Yeah. If you keep moving constantly, they will not explode. You gotta pause at least for a second or do something that has you pause for a second, like jumping. Okay. Yeah, unless you had a scroll of power in here, there's nothing I wanted. Or health or strength, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Oh, come on. There was probably a teleporter right over there. You know, when you play this game enough, you tend to get, like, a good feeling for how the layouts of everything are, which is why I can usually guess, like... Which is why in that one cursed sword run, the uh, failed cursed sword run that I had going on there, I was able to, you know, guess where the areas would be that I needed to go to. You know, it take you out right now. Ow. I was able to guess, like, where the exits for the... Like, where the graveyard, the crypt key was, and where the exit into the graveyard was. Nice. In the Fog Fjord. I mean, there's still obviously a guessing game going on there, but... Nice. I was really worried that that was just going to fly right into my face. It has happened before. Eh, good enough. Crap. Nope. I'm just gonna go over here for a second. All right. Yeah, speaking of, of uh, Dark Souls references again, I wonder if those catches were actually like explicitly based on the very similar enemy in Dark Souls 2 that was in the Huntsman's Cops. They were also big fat guys that were carrying around. Ugh. They were carrying around sights. I don't know. Hard to say. I mean, like, the big fat guy carrying around a scythe, I can believe that that's something that just happened to come up uh, apropos of nothing inspired out of thin air and then put back into thin air with all these foggers around here. Oh, whatever. I'm out of here. Peace. Boy, it's just a hallway of one after another of these guys. Okay, come on. There you go. Oh, nice. Man, am I getting the health here. It's a wonder that any of these guys died with all the health around here. Yeah, I'm currently at a thousand. Mm, that's... Mm, I don't know. Like, the damage is not as much. I would like to get at least one more strength up if possible. I doubt that's going to happen here. But health is looking great. <laughs> now it's pretty much just don't screw up again. There we go. Yeah. 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 There. Oh, come on. That wasn't a death. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. oh, I hate that combo. All right. Yeah, you know what's coming.